Hello, Internet. This is a quick and dirty shout out for Ilford XP2. Um, it's a film I've rediscovered after not using for a very long time, and I realized how much I love this film, and I'm going to tell you why. So first and foremost, if you happen to live in a town that does not have um, a traditional or professional lab, you only have sort of access to um, color 35 processing or C41 as it says there, you can use this film and you can shoot black and white. Um, this film is color processing, it's chromogenic and that's what makes it special. But it's also what puts people off too because when they get into traditional film and classic gear and that kind of things, they want to shoot classic film like Tri-X and HP5 and things like this. So this is a little bit of an odd one out. The reason why I would recommend it is because not only is it accessible and cheaper, the film itself is cheaper and the processing is cheaper because it's C41, it has great exposure latitude. That means it's very, very forgiving. It means you're going to get shadow detail more easily and you're not going to blow the highlights as easily too. Okay, a 400 speed film is also the most versatile film speed because you can use it in full daylight but you've got that extra speed for the low light. So I'm just going to flick through some images just to show you very quickly what I mean. So this was very tricky light. You see the highlights on the face and the sand and then you see the shadow details in the background. It handled it all. This again, full sunlight on a very warm day and you can see the shadow detail under the chin and things like that. So I don't think I even use any kind of compensation for that, exposure compensation. Again here, very, very bright, lots of reflection. I think I might have used a little compensation, but you see still the shadow detail. A lot of films would have rendered this as just a silhouette. Here you get good shadow detail. It makes a nice shot because the mountains in the background aren't blown out and you can still see the faces. This shot too, really nice kind of shadow detail. The face is quite a bit in shadow, but still it's got a nice look about it. Um, this is low light under the canopy of the forest. And as you can see, I can shoot handheld because it's a 400 speed. So that's the, the benefit of having a little extra speed. And then again here, my boys playing in the playground and it picked out their faces really nicely. So uh, lastly, there's not a lot of grain with this film because it's not a traditional emulsion. And therefore, it's very, very versatile for everything from reportage, street shooting, portraiture, that kind of thing. Very, very versatile film, a little bit cheaper, very forgiving and a lot more accessible if you don't have a professional lab. Okay, thank you. That's all I wanted to say. XP2, give it a try. It's super.